this video, we're going to be talking about the tool library from inside the Bobcad version 32. Now we can go up to the cam tab right here, or you can right click on cam defaults. And we're just trying to get into the tool library here. So I'm just going to click on tool library. Now when it loads up initially, this is the default library. So at this point, it doesn't know what kind of job we're running. And that's why we're going to see all the different types of tools even for lathe and laser and plasma and water jet, because at this point, Bobcat doesn't know what kind of job we're actually starting. Now, right here, we have all of our drills. So if I minimize this, we have drills, mills, lathe tools, lasers, plasmas, and water jets. And so I'm going to expand the milling operation here, and you'll see all the different tool types from inside. So each category has the specific tools inside that you can use for that specific category. So when I expand mill, we see we have end mill rough, end mill finish. We have a chamfer mill, corner round, thread mills, single point thread mills, V tools, tapered tools, T cutters, dove mills, lollipops. And then if you have a drag knife, you have a drag knife as well. So I'm just going to go to the end mill rough right here. And so when we get in here, we'll see the tool number first. And these are our tool numbers. This is just what they were entered into the system as. So there is no actual tool numbering happening. This is just what the system calls these. You have your tool label right here. You have your diameter here, your corner radius here, your number of flutes here. If I move over a little bit more, we have our flute length right there, our overall length right there, and then our tool material here. Now, if you want to filter these, you can actually just click the filter right here and you can tell it to select all, or you can pick specific types of tools inside of here. So if I say I want a half inch flat end mill, I can pick that and it's gonna show me the one half inch flat end mill. So I can just show through there. Right down here, we have equals to, we can actually search and pull a specific tool. So I could say if it has the word flat in it, I can have any flat end mill show up, or I can come in here and I could say ball, and I could say contains, and we'll see all I have is a half inch ball mill there. So you can also do other options for just your searching and, and just kind of filtering all of these options. And each one of these are gonna have their own filter options. You can sort by size, you can do whatever you want. You could also go in, and let me clear the filter here. You could just sort by the label just by clicking on it. So you could sort by the label or you can sort by the diameter and then just find it that way as well. Now over here, when we click this tool parameters option, we can actually add a new tool into the system or modify any of these tools as we click on them. So we'll just click our way down. And so we could go in and say, okay, this isn't high speed steel. It's going to be carbide. And so that tool is now going to be set up as carbide. And so there's the tool right there. We'll move over and there it is now as carbide. So that's a big thing. All the tools that are in here, they're either going to be high speed steel or insert. And a lot of the inserts are just going to be your insert face mills here. So if you want to change the materials, it wouldn't be a bad idea if you don't run much high speed steel to come in and modify these tools to carbide just like that. And so all you have to do is double click on the tool. It'll open up the parameters. You change it to carbide and then you just close the tool parameters. And you'll see if I scroll over to the right, we now have carbide set up right there. If you want to add a completely new tool, you're going to go down here and hit this little button to add a tool. And that's going to just add tools down at the bottom here that we can then click on and then say tool parameters. And then we can actually modify them, give them a tool label, diameter, flute length, corner radius, number of flutes, overall length, protrusion length, the tool number if you want to add it in, the tool material. You can then add a holder to it. So we could say, I want to assign a tool holder. And then we could choose either a cat 40 cat 50 or bt 40 holder and then in here you can choose what type of arbor you'd want it to select as well and so now we have a holder on there and then down here we have use system feeds and speeds so this allows us to either use the feeds and speeds that bobcad's going to come up with or we can uncheck it we can enter a spindle rpm a plunge feed rate and a cutting feed rate and if i like these numbers those are the ones that are going to pull up every time i pick this tool and then down here, you have custom geometry, which allows you to assign custom tool geometry to this tool. And each category is going to ask for different things. So if I go down here to the V tool and I say edit on one of these, it's not asking for all the same information. This is going to ask for the angle. It's going to ask for the flute length. So each category is going to be specific to that tool type. Now down here, if you want to get rid of some tools like I do, I just made a few extra down at the bottom here. I can just click on that tool and then just say delete. 
and then yes, and that's going to delete that tool out of my library. So delete the next one, and then the next one, and there we have it. Now over here we have save as. So if you say save as, it's going to let you save this mTools file, which we covered in an earlier video for the upgrade migration. This is the file that you're going to move around from version to version. So if you want to save it, you can do that. Otherwise, you have an import option as well. And this is another way to bring in the mTools file, which is normally going to be stored inside this technology folder right in here. So you have your tool file.mtools. You can actually load that up and open it in. And then when you're all done, you just hit OK. And that concludes the video on the tool library from inside the Bobcad version 32.